it's time for a shave everybody welcome back to my second channel where this video will probably be going but it is time to get cleaned up you can see the beard is growing out a little bit and uh, had a look on Google Maps and there's a barber shop actually two barber shops nearby so uh, there's a luxury one and a cheap dingy one that's next door so I think we'll go to the cheap one because uh, that's the best experience you can have but it's just up here so uh, let's go and check it out so here are our options everybody we got Pintu Nai's barber shop which is like the cheapish kind of local version and he seems like a cool guy this guy's getting a, uh, a massage as well uh, that has five stars eight reviews and I think they're both like next door to each other or we have this one across the road which is the new barber camel branch so that's got 4.4 oh, I didn't know it had 4.4 stars all right there's a clear front runner in this equation here so we'll go to the local one it's got five stars but uh this one looks pretty cool as well Ooh. I'm gonna say we'll uh, have to see where actually where this is because we might have gone past it. No, next one should be the next right coming up. All right, turn right. Here we go. Somewhere up here. So this is like the main kind of Tamil area. The street that I was on just before is like the main road that goes all throughout. And then there's all these kind of like side alleys and stuff like that. But in a hundred meters, it should be somewhere up here. All right, I see it just over here. There's Pintu hair. Where's the uh, the really good one? I can't even see it, but it should be somewhere over there as well. Maybe it's like upstairs. But we'll go down here. So Pintu hairdresser. Let's go down. Oh, look at this. We're in kind of like the, the back area of someone's home. Namaste Dai. You are Pintu? Yeah, Pintu. Very nice to meet you, sir. I'm Luke. I can get hair cutting and shaving. Okay. And very good. All right. Pintu Dai. He seems like a cool guy already. But, um, well, actually, I should get my phone out because I like showing a photo from a trip that I had in Bangladesh. Because last time I did this, uh, we turned out to have a pretty good haircut. Uh, so we can do hair cutting and clean shave and just like massaging. Yeah, yeah, that's the best part, no? <laughs> how, um, how, what is the price? How much? Um, uh, how much you give me? Yeah. <laughs> You can do something like this, like okay, like this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, we'll leave the rest up to you. Yeah. All right. Yeah, look how messy that is. So, how much is it? Mm -hmm. The price. Total. Yeah, total. How much you give me? I don't know. Well, what 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 do Nepalese pay? Uh, what is Nepalese price? Total one five. One five. Yeah. One thousand five hundred. Oh, it's very expensive for now. Here, got body massage. Body massage. Yeah, that's very expensive, right? Uh, good price. Sir. Good price. Yeah. That's what ne that's what Nepalese people pay. Yeah, local price. Sir. Okay. Hopefully, it's good massage. Yeah, good massage, sir. That's what makes it expensive. The uh, the massage, no? Because <laughs> it's best. <laughs> All right. I'll tell you what, though, this is actually a really cool shop. It's very clean. Do you have employees, like staff? Staff. Because sometimes you have three, three. Yeah, sometimes so three, three, sometimes three barber. One, sometimes two. Yeah, ah, uh, two, three. Okay. Yeah. But today just one. Yeah. Yeah. One. All right. Let's go. Jam jam. I think that's what it is. Jam jam. So how long have you been working for? Uh, Twenty four years. Twenty four in this yeah. shop. Yeah. Wow. I need that. I need that all gone. Too hairy. Alright, let's see how it turns out. So do you have many customers per day? Many customers. Sir. Yeah, like 10, 15? Yeah, 10, 15, 20. Wow. Were you open yesterday? Yeah. Wow. 
we're just coming off the back of a holiday here in Nepal. And do you have family? Yeah, I have family. Alright, we're starting off strong. Getting the big parts cut off. What I'm most excited about is the uh, the beard to be gone shortly. It's just so scruffy. And there's nothing better than a clean shave, a clean beard shave. It's gonna make you look about 10 years younger. So it's cool coming into barber shops and seeing the different kinds of products and stuff that they have. Oh, that's a good part. Clean up the sideburns. Make sure all the areas of the ear are cleaned. But uh, the areas, but the cool things with like all the barber shops, is the different products I see over to the right. There's the. Um, I just gotta stay still. My ear's gonna get cut off. There's a like face mask over there, and I remember when we were in Bangladesh, we had the full kind of makeover experience. We had all the face scrubs and stuff to get into the pores, get into the skin, get rid of all the pimples. Looking fresh. So we've got shaving foam on the right, we've got rose water, walnut scrub, we've got the black mask, and then over on the right, more products. What is that? Moisture oil. Huh? Well, well. Oil, oil. oil. Moisture oil. Ah. Yeah. That's yeah, in a Sprite bottle. New pair of scissors coming out. Looking good so far. Yeah, good. Yeah, good job. This is just to get the the back bits done. Kind of thin out the hair. There we are. Looking fresh. This is for thi like thinning, thin. Yeah. Yeah. It's like not actually like cutting length off the hair, but it's getting kind of rid of the volume. So he's kind of just like going at it, just chopping it away. So he's just cleaning out the back now. Yeah, neck. And then usually when you have like thick growth on the beard, is they actually use the 
razor, or like the buzzer first, and then getting a clean shave with the razor. That's going to be pretty hard to cut through with a clean blade. Alright. Namaste. This is your friend? No. Just random person? Yeah. See the back with the mirror. Oh, very good. Good? Yeah. Perfect. Very nice. Just a little trim, clean it all up a bit. Keep it uh, lengthy on both sides. Eh? Yeah, clean, yeah. Alright. Okay. Yeah. So just marking the spot, cleaning up the side burns. So 24 years you have yes, sir. been barber for. Can you imagine how many, so how many people, how many haircuts have you given then? Like one lakh, 10,000, 100,000. <laughs> Incredibly good at what you do. Just like I've become incredibly good at receiving them. This has got to be about the 50th shave video that I've probably filmed it. Done them in Pakistan, done them in Bangladesh, done them in Iraq, in Egypt, in Lebanon, in Indonesia, Philippines, everywhere. But now we're getting changed up for the shave part. I do like the haircut, it looks good. Yeah, we're looking fresh. Oh, very good. Swim Academy. <laughs> Do you swim? Swimming? No. <laughs> There's no way to really swim in the pool. Maybe at Pokhara or Lake. Or in Chitwan with all the crocodiles. It's cool, they got all the kind of the religious Hindu stuff here. Obviously Nepal being I think majority Hindu nation, but it's beautiful having all these things in the barber shops and out on the street as well, the different places. But it's time for a shave, everybody. Getting it all wet, ready for the foam. And as you saw before, he's lined up like the sideburns. You can see the little cuts halfway up the ear. So anything below that is gone. As I said before, sometimes when it's like really thick, they actually use the electric buzzer first. And then they use the foam to really clean it up. But here, we're just going straight into it. A lot of hair is going to be coming off. Plenty of foam. Being added. The more the merrier. Alright everybody, it's time for a shave. 
we are all foamed up and it actually feels really heavy as well with the amount of foam in there and probably the density of the hair because it's a pretty thick beard we've got fresh blade gillette and it gets put in and then closed up and then we're good to go coming off so smoothly. Um. It is so satisfying to listen to. And even more satisfying to watch. Like, look at it just come off into his hands. Just an abundance of hair. And it's just so quick and efficient. If I was to do this myself, it'd take forever and it'd be an awful job. I'd absolutely butcher it. But look at that in a minute. It's super clean. First half is done, and look how clean we are looking. <laughs> it's actually great. I swear I say this in every shave video, but the difference that a beard makes to your appearance is unbelievable. We look like a very familiar face right now. Perfect. Good? Yeah, so good. You're looking fresh, looking clean. I look ten times thinner. We even got the jawline back. You do one more? Yeah, I'm yeah. One damn more. But it's quick, no? That's what I usually do is one to get rid of the bulk of it, and then the second one to get the super thin bits that have been missed. So this one will be like super quick. Obviously, nowhere near as much hair coming off as before. The shaving foam feels very like minty when it gets put on, like kind of a, a bliss minty feel. Look at this legalized Nepal hashish.
Nepal is actually famous for its uh, Himalayan hash, I think. Some of the best hash in the world. And they also have like mad honey here. Which, if you've watched other Nepal videos, I'm sure you're aware of, but it's these bees that create honey that makes you have a, uh, a trip, a psychedelic trip, like mushrooms. And they harvest it a couple times a year, and then you're only meant to have one teaspoon, or else you go crazy. But there's a few places that you can get it in Nepal. But back to the shave, this is coming off so quick, like it's not even, beforehand you could hear like the sound of the hairs being shaved off, but now it's just like skin being shaved. There is house above, home. Supermarket. A uh, supermarket. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I can hear the footsteps. That's it, done everybody, look at all the hair there. All of my DNA. About to be chucked out into the trash. So now is the time, the best time I think. I'll put the um, the camera down there. All right. <laughs> I hate being sprayed in my face, it's gotta be. This towel is so soft. It's a nice towel. It's so soft. Yeah. Soft. Yeah. Yeah, it's like microfiber. Nice. Now it is uh, massage time? Yeah, massage. Ah, uh, what is this? After shave. Ah, uh, after shave first. Alright. This stuff always uh, usually stings, but. We'll see. Ooh, yeah, it's just like kind of like a percentage of alcohol sort of stings. But it gets into all the cuts and the small little incisions that are not visible, but they're definitely there. And then this one? This one. Fair skin, Himalaya. Ah, Himalaya. Cream. down so we get full experience here. There we go. Alright. Time for a massage everybody. Massage. massage. How many minutes? Get the minute? Fifteen minutes. Fifteen, wow. Alright. Now this is worth every penny everybody. Hello. How are you? I'm good, you? I'm good. You're here for hair cutting? Uh, no, my friend. Oh, your bring. friend? Yeah, I'll bring him. Ah. Good job, you're on. So he's bringing his friend.
yeah, I think my favorite part of all these massages is like the eyeballs and the eyebrows and temples. That's always the most like amazing part. And even when I look back at the footage, it's so good. This bump. The sounds are so funny. Chinese burn on the arms. Stretch out the skin. And this is in depth and thorough. That's good. Special pillow. What is it for? I think we'll lean over actually. That's what happens. It's like what happened in Bangladesh when. So I go forward? Yeah. Okay. Let's see what happens here. Full back massage time. That's, it's such a comfy towel. About to fall asleep here. It's too relaxing. Extensive and thorough. About to fall asleep, everybody. Karate chop time. I think what made this ten times better was the pillow and the towel that it was on. So comfy. Good stuff. Very good. Now I go to sleep. Sleepy yeah. time. <laughs> yeah. I just get the front chest area and the deltoids. 
This has been extensive. Finishing up. Fix up the hair a bit. Make us look fresh. Okay. Up. Finished? Yeah. Done, Yavad. Thank you very much. Good. How long was that? Alright. Very good. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Let's check it out, everybody. So, we got the, the shave done. Haircut is looking fresh. The body is feeling relaxed. All right, very good. So what is the price, final price? What is the price? 1,500? Okay. Okay, is that what you say? Yeah. Okay. You have change? Yeah, I change, so. Secret, safe box. <laughs> That's where Bank of Nepal. Yeah. <laughs> Kathmandu Bank. Okay, die. Okay. Done, Yavad. Thank you very much. Alright, uh, everybody, we are looking fresh. I feel fresh. It feels good having a, a fresh shave. All, uh, all this stuff gone. Got absolutely taken to the cleaners there, everybody. Um, I'll walk and talk about it as we get back to the main street. But, uh, 1500. It's around like, what, well, like, probably like 12, 13 US dollars. Um, but in Nepal, Something like that should probably be like generally like 200 rupees each, like 200 for the shave, 200. This is probably a maximum price, like 200 each for everything. Uh, the massage was really good though, so happy with how that all turned out. All right, guys, we are back at my hotel that I'm staying at. A few things to note with the uh, haircut they just got. I was looking in the mirror just as I got back, and like he did an alright job. The shave was like perfect. But it's pretty hard to mess that up. But the haircut probably could have been a little bit better. Um, as I was saying, overcharged me way too much. And you know that when <laughs> when you ask for the price of something, and they say, like, what what do you pay? Or like, what will you pay? Or like, how much will you pay? And you're just walking into a uh, kind of a scam or an overpaying kind of trap. Um, the other thing, I didn't mention it when I was finishing up the massage there, but I had my GoPro recording. And on here, I can see how long that clip is. And it was the massage that he said was 15 minutes was around like 10 minutes, the clip was. So it would have been like nine or, I think I was recording for like a minute beforehand anyways. So not so honest barber does not get a reward. I mean, we did pay in the 1500, but once you agree to something, you kind of just gotta pay the price, right? So overall, an average experience, the massage was actually probably the best massage I've ever had, but, uh, Apart from that, we might have to actually go to another barber shortly, maybe in a couple days, to see how this grows out, and then uh, maybe get the sides trimmed up. But uh, that's it from me, everybody. 